and you guys math assistant and um today I'm gonna be showing you how to multiply and divide fractions. Multiplying is quite easy if you know how to add and subtract fractions, which I have showed you in the last video. Um dividing fractions is quite um a, a little harder for you guys if you're in grade six, seven or eight. Mostly aim for the grade six and sevens. Um so let's start off. Um I already wrote out the questions and I'll be uh, showing you out the steps okay so basically right here we have 2 over 3 times 3 over 4 and when you're multiplying fractions you always have to start with the numerators so you have to multiply the numerators 2 times 3 equals 6 3 times 4 equals 12 that's all you do it's just like multiply so 6 over 12 and you reduce it equals 1 over half the next sample I gave you is um, 5 over 6 times 3 over 4. Um, so you have to do the same thing as you did on the top. Multiply the numerators and the denominators. So first off you do multiply the top. 5 times 3 equals 15. 6 times 4 equals 24. And after that you reduce it which equals 5 over 8. Now, um, this um, w uh, way is what most people use, but actually um, a faster and sim more simple way is to cancel out the fractions. So, uh, as you can see, I have the first fraction over here, 2 over 3 times 3 over 4, and in this, I canceled them out. So, 3 divided by 3 equals 1, and then I did the same thing over here, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. And then over here I did 4 divided by 2 equals 2, and 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So basically, you have to find the divisible numbers. 4 and t 4 and 2 are this, uh, divisible by each other, so 4 divided by 2 equals 2, and yeah. And then you reduce it, and you, you multiply it. 1 times 1 equals 1, 1 times 2 equals 2. So, um, yeah, that's it. Multiplication is pretty easy. Um, if you want, I'll do one more. If you don't want to see this part, um, you can go, you can skip ahead to the division part. Okay, so say you have, give you a harder one, 10 over 12 times 4 over 8. So as I said before, you do numerators, 10 times 4 equals 40, 12 times 8 equals 696. And that's your answer, and you can simplify it, which I won't be doing it, but you can do it. Okay, um, so you can do it. Um, now I'm going to show you, also show you what I did over here, canceling. Canceling is faster. So, 8 and 4. 8 and 4, divisible. they're both divisible by 4. So, 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 10 and 12. 10. Um, they're both divisible by 2, so 10 divided by 2 equals 5, 12 divided by 2 equals 6, and now all you have to do is multiply them, 5 and 12, and that should, that's your answer. And, uh, and one more thing, when you're canceling, you can only cancel this way and diagonally, never side by side side by side never works so um... yeah now moving on to the division i also did it already um, okay so here we have four over six divided by two over three in division we're not dividing we're always multiplying so over here i drop four over six and then what here what you do here is change the division sign into multiple sign and when you do that, you have to um, change the second fraction. Second fraction, um, you switch them around. So 2 over 3 is now 3 over 2. So you switch the numerator and denominator, and you multiply them. And what you get 4 times 3 equals 12. 6 times 2 equals 12. And that equals 1. And that's your answer. And you always um, switch the second fraction. So let's go on to the next one. Um... 5 over 8 divided by 2 over 4. So what you do here, um, you do the same thing over here. You change 
the division sign to a multiplication sign and you switch the second fraction. So 2 over 4 equals to 4 over 2. 5 times 4 equals 20. 8 times 2 equals 16. And then you change it to improper, I mean mixed fraction. And uh, as I showed you on the back side, once you're on the multiplication step, it's the same thing as um, the one I showed you before. So you can also cancel it. So 5 times 5 over 8 times 4 over 2. You can uh, 8 of 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 5. 5 times 1 equals 5. 2 times 2 equals 4. And that's your answer once you change it into a mix. And that's basically it. Um, if you want, I'll show you one more. Uh, let's say 10 over 5 divided by 5 over 6. Okay. Now, this would be really simple if you cancel them, but um, I'll do it the other way now. 10 over 5, 5 over 6. So now, okay. Sorry. Okay. Now you just bring 10 over 5 down. Then you change the multiplication, the division sign to a multiplication sign. Switch them, second fraction, 6 over 5. Now you multiply them. 10 times 6 equals 60. And 5 times 5 equals 25. And then you change it into a proper fraction. And canceling, 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Divided by 5 equals 1. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 5 times 1 equals 5. 1, one times 3 equals 3. And then that's your answer. 5 over 3 and you change it to 1, 2 over 3. When you change it to mixed fraction. And that's basically it. Um, if you have any more questions... Um, please ask below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, which is basically, I would say, in like two hours. Um, if you also want to learn about something else or if, you're, if you need any help in anything else, uh, comment below and I'll post a video about it. Um, thanks, uh, subscribe and comment.